everybody, it's Melanie and today's Vlogween is going to be a refilm and repost of um, a scary story from the haunted house that I grew up in. Um, I went back and I watched the old one and it was simply cringeworthy because the lighting was just atrocious. So I'm going to try to tell the story again and hopefully it will look better this time. Um, so the first story, I'm going to do this for two stories. The first story that I'm going to be uh, refilming is the uh, woman in the brown dress. So I'm going to insert a picture here of what the house looked like on the inside. Um, this house I moved into when I was five and we lived there until I was in high school. I can't remember what year of high school we moved. I think it was uh, one of the junior or senior years maybe? I don't exactly remember. Anyway, um, this house had so many things happening inside of it. Um, the very first uh, day that we moved in, my aunt actually uh, lived with us for a little while and she was helping us move in and she and my mother as they were unpacking things, uh, heard a baby crying and they searched the whole house. They searched outside the house. They searched everywhere and could not find anything. And as far as I know, our neighbors didn't have any babies at that time. Um, but yeah, they searched everywhere. So that's how creepy this house was. Um, so I used to hear things and see things, and I'm going to tell you about the time I saw a ghost um, walk through my bedroom. So I don't sleep very well, and I never really have. Insomnia kind of runs in the family. Um, sometimes I won't sleep for days, although it's gotten better as I've gotten older, but still have a really hard time getting to sleep. So I was awake. Everybody else was asleep, or at least everybody else sounded asleep. Um, my sister and I shared a room, and we slept in separate beds. We were old enough that we got our own beds, at least. And I was just laying there in the dark, trying to get to sleep. And I rolled over on my left side and I was just staring into the darkness. And as I rolled over, I noticed movement. And I kind of held my breath and I'm like, oh my gosh, what is that? And I saw a woman in a long brown dress and it had little yellow flowers on it. And it was like a very old fashioned like something you would see in the Old South. Not full Southern Belle, but very close. And she had on a huge brown bonnet that matched the dress. It also had the flowers on it and it covered her face. She, I could see her from the side, but I couldn't see her face. And I have never in all of my encounters been so scared as when I saw this woman in brown. There was just something about this ghost that was absolutely terrifying. And I knew in an instant that if she looked at me, it was over. Like that was just going to be the end of me, the end of everything. It, that was just it. So I closed my eyes. And I very slowly rolled over onto my right side to face the wall, completely face away from her. And at the same time, I pulled the blankets up over my head and I just laid there and I was like, please go away, please go away, please go away. But I couldn't say it out loud because I was afraid to bring attention to myself. I did not want her to know that I had noticed her because like I said 
she was the most terrifying ghost I have ever encountered in my entire life. Um, and eventually I just went to sleep and after that I never saw that particular ghost. Thank goodness I never saw that particular ghost again. So that was one of the experiences in the haunted house that I grew up in. Short, terrifying. <laughs> um, so the other video that I will be reposting, refilming, reposting is The Intruder. Um, this is a firsthand story from my mother, um, but I was part of the story. So I'm gonna tell you that, and it does happen in the same house. So I hope that you stay tuned and look forward to that one. Um, remember, if you have a story that you would like me to tell for you in subscriber story time, just write me an email. Please give me permission in the email to share your story. And if you want to remain anonymous, please also just say, hey, don't say my name. And I won't. I am hoping to get a story out of one of my aunts because I have some ghost pictures that she took and I really want to know the story behind them. She's supposed to email me, hint, 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 about this story behind these pictures. So I'm hoping to be able to share that with you uh, this vlogoween season as well. Look for my email in the description box below and all of my social media at the end of this. Also TikTok, I am shivering shimmy on everything so it's pretty easy to find me. I hope you enjoyed this story. I look forward to hearing about your stories, whether you want me to share them or not. If you want to just tell me a story, I'm good with that. I love ghost stories. So until next time, bye.